Now you see, the, the initial thing we require from all the claimants is a simple statement of, in three parts. What can you do, under what circumstances, with what accuracy? And that could be dowsing, that could be uh, flying by flapping the arms or whatever the claim may be, but under what circumstances, with what accuracy? These are very important. That means that the claimant designs the protocol. All we have to do is organize it and set it up in a certain number of steps that the claimant also agrees with. Um, yeah, I think from San Francisco. Uh, if Connie had passed this, for this, this uh, initial um, preliminary test, you know, walk us through, walk us through what the next, the final challenge would have been like. The test, the next test would be essentially the same, but perhaps with somewhat different security, depending on how the performance uh, went the first time on that same protocol. Or it could be that it would change completely. We've never had to deal with that problem, you see. So we would, would have to design it as, it as it comes along, I think. I think what we would do is take a look at the test, analyze it, see if there were any weaknesses there, and so we can actually strengthen it and make it a little bit more secure. If, uh, if uh, that's uh, even possible. Well, and secure for both sides. Remember that. Ben Green. This is Rob from the Independent Investigations Group. My question is for Connie. Uh, are you glad that the skeptical community is offering a prize? And is there any recommendation of how you think it could be better? Because if there are these powers, we want to know about them. Well, I think um, Judge Randy uh, has treated me very well all the time, and uh, I think it's easy. It, it's easy if you if you um, agree the pro protocol. <coughs> uh, well. It had taken some months, but it's okay. And I, I don't have some comments about that because I think it's fair and easy to confirm. Yeah. Now, Connie, um, what your <coughs> friend just said was that uh, you were allowed to suggest an initial protocol and then it was modified. How close to your initial suggestion of a protocol was the actual challenge? Very close. The original, actually, in her application, which you guys can see in your packet, the statement of her claim said that she was able to identify letters written on tiles made out of cardboard, turned upside down on a table. So this was very close. Yes? Around the second from Sydney, Australia, I have a question to the derivative of people. Why did you choose to banish it to the test? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm not concerned that it might, uh, it might be some um, um, sentiment There's actually, for me personally, there was no fear of that because I think this protocol was so secure that the tester can't actually alter what happens. He was never given the level of access that would have been needed. I'm talking completely about perception. Perception. Um, I think that, that would be my response to anyone who believed that he never had the option. I, I think you have that perception on both sides. You can go either way. I think one, you can say, well, maybe he would do something to help Connie. Um, and then there is my background where you may look and say, well, if something was going on, Banachek might be one that would actually be able to see that you're sitting right up there because this is what I do for a living every day. So that perception can go both ways. Um, the bottom line, there's a million dollars on the line. So I think if you're going to look and you're going to go, which way I'm going to go, you'd rather have somebody up there that you know can detect the trickery rather than worry so much about the perception of somebody saying, hey, he could be helping to be cheating. The other thing is, it works both ways. I walked up to Randy at the very beginning, and I said, Randy, I said, you know, I just want to make sure, and it was a question I had to ask, because when I worked with the scientists, they never did ask, we were magicians. And I said, Randy, this isn't, this isn't like a publicity stunt. I just, I don't believe that it is, but I've got to ask you that question. It's not to get to that first stage. And, and he said, no, 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 of course it's not. And I took him at his word at that point. It is a question I had to put out there. And I had to put it out that I wasn't being like Randy punked or something like that. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, didn't, I was not allowed to speak to Connie. I had no clue. And the other thing is, it was a little scary for me because the playing card, I can think of multiple ways that somebody, if they wanted to cheat, could cheat. And so as a result, I was not allowed to examine the cards. I was not allowed to look at those. And that was something I worried about. I mean, you know, in the very back of my mind, of course, because I trust Randy with my life, but you just never know. You know, you never really know. And so it worked both ways for me. As a result, they had their, their double mind to, you know, set. And that, that bothered me, but I knew that I had to be put in that position. I have a ghost always 
in the back of my head when one of these things is going to take place. But I think of all the possibilities, because there are so many possibilities. We magicians know what the possibilities are, and we can uh, just, just sit and tremble just a wee bit. I wonder if we've got a ringer coming in here who is actually a, a cousin of somebody who, whatever, who has a method. I, I could have figured, well, we both could. Right. Yeah, no, I, I already had like three yeah. ways yeah. in my head exactly. of where if Randy wanted to go with somebody else, or Allison, or because Allison, you know, could, you know, you just never know, you know, no offense, Alan. But you never know, and I could think of multiple ways that they could have accomplished if they were working with Connie. So you think about those. So I would think that if, if it had been a success, well, when you go into the official testing, I probably would not be the tester at that point. I, that, 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 equation will be taken out at that point. And that very fact is a reason for the two part, the preliminary and then the formal test. Because uh, as Steve mentioned very early on in this discussion, uh, the, the preliminary test, it, the, the odds are relatively easy to beat one in 1,000. And uh, we, we take a great deal of care, but we, we, we tend to assume that this is not a, a clever a wizard from across the ocean, who has been trained by mystical forces and whatnot, and government agencies and everything to win that million dollars, we need it to, to buy something, to, to blow something up in the United States. No, we don't think that way. We automatically make the assumption, the, the basic assumption, this is an honest person who believes that he or she has the powers. And that's a safe enough assumption because it's very, very, very probably true. But then, of course, we have the second stage, and that's our safeguard. Uh, may I check this, this? This is a little strange, but we actually have spare tests. And if you would like to actually go through the test the same way that Connie did, you're welcome to. Um. Jamie? We'll work on that. No, you know, the bottom of mine is I wouldn't do it um, as much as I would love to, simply because I feel that it would be making a mockery of the system. Yes. And to be quite honest with you, it, it shouldn't be made a mockery. This is very serious. I mean, Connie came here, she was very serious about it. Um, and I think we need to treat it with the same respect and be just as serious. And hopefully that's exactly how we come across and what we do, because that was my intent the entire time. So, you know, we joke about maybe going after that prize money. It would be fun, just as a fun thing to try to do it. But I think it would make it more for you. I did come up to that at the end and say, you know, you really should have just gone for the fourth mile for <laughs>